Okay, what do I want to take up uh, today? So this is what I'm going to do today. No? I'm going to discuss with you some very common and practical diode circuits. Now, these are usually employed uh, using uh, alternating current inputs. So usually AC yung input dito mga circuits na to. So the circuits that we're going to discuss today are first the half wave rectifier, then the full wave rectifier, then I'm going to discuss the positive clipper, then the negative clipper, and then a two-way clipper. Okay, I'm going to illustrate the functionality of these circuits using AC input voltages. So you remember what I said, when we say AC, the implication is we're talking about sinusoidal AC, sinusoidal alternating current. So that's either a sine wave or a cosine wave. The first circuit that we're going to take up is the half-wave rectifier. And in analyzing the half-wave rectifier, we're going to assume first that the diode is ideal. This is the circuit of your half-wave rectifier. You have your input voltage, which is your AC voltage. So this is the waveform of our input voltage, okay? Then we have a diode connected in series with the input voltage. And then we have the output taken across a resistor connected also in series with the input voltage. So this is going to be our output voltage. Okay, so how do we analyze this circuit? So if you will recall from last meeting, I said there are two ways okay, of determining whether a diode is conducting or not conducting. Okay. Uh, does, does anybody recall what the first method is? Can, can I ask someone? A new first method for determining whether the diode is conducting or not conducting. A new starting assumption. Can I ask uh, Albert? A new starting assumption. The first method for the assumption is conducting. Yes. So, so the first method, ang assumption is conducting. So what we do is we replace the diode with its uh, equivalent circuit no, when it is conducting. Since this is an ideal diode, uh, since, or, since we assume it's going to be an ideal diode, we replace the diode with, in this case, a short circuit. Okay, so again, no, we assume diode is conducting. So what do we do? We replace with a short circuit. Okay. So ang magiging equivalent circuit natin ganito. So ito ngayon yung diode, okay, the short circuit. And then this is going to be my V out. So this is V in. Okay, how do we know that this is valid. This is valid if we get a direction of current this way. Okay. If we get a direction of current this way, then this is valid. Okay. Kailan magiging clockwise ang direction ng current natin? When will our current be flowing from the left to right? That will only happen during the positive cycles, okay? So current is clockwise only during the positive cycle. So dito, no? Dito, sa mga, okay? It is only during the positive cycle that current is clockwise, okay? So here, in these positive cycles, the assumption is valid. Okay, kung valid yung assumption natin during the positive cycles, that is, this circuit is, this equivalent circuit is correct. You notice that during the positive cycles, V out will just be equal to V in. You know? So if I plot V out, if I plot V out here, okay, V out, dito, it will just be equal to V in.
Okay. It will just be equal to B in. Okay. Now, what happens during the negative cycle? During the negative cycle, ang current natin will be counterclockwise. Okay. So during negative cycle, current is from cathode from K to A, no? which is opposite the direction of the diode arrow. Meaning to say during the negative cycle, since current is from K to A, assumption is wrong. No? The assumption is wrong. And the diode is equivalent to an open circuit. Okay, so kung open circuit yung diode, so drawing natin yun, ano? Kung open circuit yung diode, During the negative cycle, ano magiging value ngayon ng V out? What will be the value of V out, Clyde, kung open circuit yung diode? It would be zero po. Zero, no? Bakit? Kasi walang current. Kung walang current, ibig sabihin, IR, the voltage across your resistor, is equal to zero. So dito, sa negative cycle, okay, ang output natin is zero. So ganito ngayon yung magiging output natin. Okay. So this is how our output will look like. So ano yung effect ng diode? No? Ang effect ng diode, Parang tinabas niya yung nasa baba. No? Parang tinabas lang niya yung nasa baba. So iniwan niya yung nasa taas, tinanggal niya yung nasa baba. That's why you call this a rectifier. No? Rectifier. Because this allows current to flow. Okay. Uh, let let me let me repeat that. You know? um, the more, yeah. When you say rectifier, okay. The the more common uh, um, meaning of a rectifier is, is converts AC to DC. Rectifier converts AC to DC. No? Yung, yung input signal natin was AC. Ang nagiging output signal natin is DC. Naalala nyo yung definition ng DC? Yung technical definition ng DC. DC means that current only flows in one direction. It can change magnitude. No? In, in this case, voltage. Ano? Voltage is uh, only one polarity. It can change magnitude. But as long as it, it is only positive, that is still DC. No? Yun yung technical definition ng DC. No? Yung, yung, for example, if you're talking about current, it only flows in one direction. No? It can be changing magnitude, but as long as it is flowing in only one direction, that's DC. Ngayon, sabi natin, when we, when we just say DC without qualifying, usually ang ibig sabihin nun is constant DC. But strictly speaking, this is DC. So a rectifier converts AC to DC. Unfortunately, it's this is a dirty type of DC because if you try to use this DC on your on your DC uh, gadgets, for example, okay, most likely it's not going to function properly because it's a it's a very noisy type of uh, DC. Okay, you're going to learn later on that to make this a clean type of DC. Dapat maglagay pa tayo ng capacitor rito, no? but that's going ahead of uh, of ourselves. No, but if I had placed a capacitor across the output, then it's going to clean up my my DC. 
Okay, so a rectifier converts AC to DC. Okay. Any questions with the half wave rectifier? Ideal diode model. Okay. Let's be more refined in our analysis. This time, let's consider the constant voltage drop model. No? So sabi natin, we use the ideal model pag malaking malaki yung applied voltage so that the, the diode voltage drop is negligible. No? Pero what if our input voltage is rather small na yung voltage drop across the diode already becomes um, um, uh, considerable. No? So ang model na gagamitin natin ngayon in the halfway rectifier uh, analysis is the constant voltage drop model. Again, no? we start with the assumption Let's, let's use the method one. Assume that the diode is conducting. Okay, assume diode is conducting. So we replace it with its model. Now, what is the model when it is conducting? Um, key, uh, what is the model when the diode is conducting in the constant voltage drop model? Um, voltage drop. Oh. Yeah, it's a constant voltage drop. Kung, kung uh, silicon, ano yung value ng voltage na yun? 0.7 volts. Yeah, oh, 0.7. Ano? But anyway, let's let's not assume it's silicon, but it's a constant voltage drop. No? So ang magiging equivalent circuit natin ngayon will be like this, no? where this is a piece of F. Okay, and then this is V out. And then what do we have to do? We have to determine the current. No, We have to determine this current. If the current is positive, or if the current is from the anode to the cathode, so this is the anode, this is the cathode, then we know that this model is valid. But if we find that the current is from the cathode to the anode, kung pabaliktad yung current, or kung ang makuha nating value ng I is negative, alam natin na mali itong model na to. Okay, so taking a look at your input. So what is, what is my input? Again, my input is like this. Okay. Sabihin natin this is V of F. Kung value na to is V of F. So this is V in. This is V in. When will, when will the current be from left to right? The current will be from left to right only here. No? That is, the current will be left to right only when V of in, when V in, is greater than V of F. Dun lang magiging left to right yung current. No? So here, okay, in this area, the assumption is correct. No? Okay, when the assumption is correct, ano ang magiging value ng V out? Can I ask uh, Cess? No? What will the value of V out be when the assumption is correct? V in plus V F. V um, in plus V I. V in plus V F. V in plus V F. Be very careful. And V in minus V F. Sorry. Okay, pa. that's right. No, because remember you're going clockwise. Let's say you're going clockwise. No, your your V in is a voltage rise, but your V F is a voltage drop. No, you're going from plus plus to minus, so voltage drop. So so magka contra yung dalawa. No, so V out is equal to V in minus VF. So pag tinignan natin yung output natin, okay, dito sa, dito where the assumption is correct, okay, so remember this is where the assumption is correct, no? where those, those dotted lines are. Kung dati-dati this is V peak, let's call this V peak, 
So ito yung dating VPIC. Hindi ngayon naabot sa VPIC yung, yung output natin. Ano? Yung output natin will be like this. Where the difference between the two, this is now VPIC minus VF. Ito yung dating VPIC niya. This will be VPIC minus VF. No? Because your input will always be will always have VF subtracted from it at the output. Okay. Now everywhere else, everywhere else, your assumption is wrong. In other words, sa labas nito mga shaded shaded regions na to, mali yung assumption natin. And if the assumption is wrong, the diode is an open circuit. Okay? So just like here, it's open. So ang V out natin will just be equal to zero. Right? So this is now how my output will look like. Okay? That's how my output will look like. So yung, yung, yung sinusoid ko, itong input ko, ang unang mangyayari sa input ko, babagsak siya, babagsak siya by the value V of F. Okay? Tapos lahat nung less than zero, tinatabas niya. So yun yung nagiging value ng output. No? So more particularly, yan, uh, this is a nicer drawing. So this is, this is the equivalent circuit when V in is greater than V F, my V out is V in minus V F. So yun yung red, no? yung blue yun yung, yung blue yun yung, uh, yun yung input. So the difference between my peak is uh, V F. Okay. And it starts, the output starts becoming uh, greater than zero at the value V in equal to V F. No? That's when the output starts becoming equal, greater than zero. Now, everywhere else, ito yung equivalent circuit ko, and this happens when Vn is less than Vf, my output is equal to zero. Are there any questions? Okay. I think that's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go to the full wave rectifier. And you're going to see why we call it a full wave rectifier in a while. This is the circuit of a two, two input, a two input full wave rectifier. Notice I have two inputs here, V1 and V2. And the condition here is that V1 must be exactly equal or exactly the same as V2. No? V1 and V2 must have exactly the same amplitude, exactly the same frequency, and exactly the same phase. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng phase? Ibig sabihin, Sabay na sabay yung dalawa. Sabay na sabay yung dalawa. Hindi pwedeng yung isa na una dun sa isa. So that is the that is the condition for V1 and V2. Again, no? exactly the same amplitude, exactly the same frequency, and exactly the same phase. Okay, um, what happens? Okay, so this is, let me draw V1, which is equal to V2. V1, which is equal to V2. So, ganito yung itsura niya, no? Okay. Remember, this is against time, no? These are time-varying signals. What happens during the positive cycle? Again, we're assuming the ideal diode model, no? Okay. If you take a look, during the positive cycle, positive cycle. So ito yon, this part and this part during the positive cycle. Okay. If I take a look at this circuit, the current is flowing clockwise. If I take a look at this circuit, the flow the current is flowing clockwise. So it is flowing from left to right, you know? So if I were if I assume that this is conducting and it is a short circuit, Tama yung assumption ko. Right? So during the positive cycle, D1 
is conducting. No? And it is equivalent to a short circuit. Okay, kumbaga, if, if we're using if we're using our method of determining whether it is conducting or not, we replace it with the short circuit and we're going to find during the positive cycle that tama yung direction ng current. It is from anode to cathode. Now, what about D2? Okay, ano yung, ano yung flow ng current sa D2? No? Ang flow ng current sa D2 will be like this, right? During the positive cycle, the current tends to flow this way. No? Let, me, let me trace it. No? For, for Rather, for V2. No? For V2, during the positive cycle, the current tends to flow this way. No? It's going to flow this way, right? Because that's, that is what this source is pushing it to. And then it's going to flow up here, okay? And then it's going to flow down here, back to the negative terminal of V2. That's how it will try to flow. Okay, that's how the, the current will try to flow. It's not going from, from here, from here, it's not going to go this way, kasi contra dito. It's going to encounter this diode and it cannot flow opposite the direction of the diode arrow. So, so this is how it's going to flow. But notice, can it flow this way dito? Hindi din pwede, di ba? Kasi contra din siya dito sa D2. Meaning to say, during the positive cycle, D1, D2 is off. So D1 is conducting, D2 is not conducting. So it's an open circuit. Okay, what will be V out? Ano yung magiging V out natin? V out, if you take a look at it, since this is equivalent to a short circuit, V out is just equal to V1. You notice, yung, yung output natin will just be connected directly to the V1 terminals. I don't like this color. So V out will be equal to V1. Okay, what about the negative cycle? Negative cycle, ito, itong negative cycle naman, ano mangyayari, no? The current tends to flow counterclockwise dito sa D1. Obviously, and D1 will be open. Okay? The current will also tend to flow counterclockwise dito sa loop na to. And obviously, D2 will be conducting or short, short circuit, no? Will be equivalent to a short circuit. So during the negative cycle, D1 is open and D2 is a short. No? Remember, we're, we're applying the ideal diode model. Okay, if D2 is short, if this is shorted, anong value ng V out? No? So ito open, so wala nang kinalaman tong V1. No? Ito shorted, tignan natin, ano? yung positive terminal ng V out nakakabit sa negative terminal ng V2. Samantalang yung negative terminal ng V out nakakabit sa positive terminal ng V2. In other words, V out is equal to minus V2, which is equal to minus V1. So what will my output look like? Okay. During the positive cycle, my output will just be V out is equal to V1. So if this is V out, it will just be equal to V1. During my negative cycle, V out is equal to negative V2, which is the same as negative V1. What is negative V1? Ganyan. So this is how my output will look like. 
And that's why you call it a full wave rectifier. No? Because now you are not, you are not uh, cutting off the bottom part. Instead, you are inverting the bottom part and making it positive. So yung, yung, yung uh, positive you pass us is the negative you invert first and then you pass. So ito yung nagiging output natin. Are there any questions? Any questions? Okay, so clear so far. So ito, ito ngayon, no? so this is the ideal diode model. Ito ngayon, this is the constant voltage drop model. Okay. So this is the equivalent circuit when V1 is greater than V sub F. No? So kanina naalala nyo when we discussed the half wave rectifier, kailan mag-conduct yung D1? No? Kailan mag-conduct yung D1? D1 will conduct when V1 is greater than the forward voltage. So that's the same thing here. No? V1 will cause current to flow when it is greater than the forward voltage. And your output will just be V1 minus V sub F. No? V1 minus V sub F. So that's during the positive cycle. Okay, during the negative cycle, when will the diode conduct? When will the diode conduct? So the current has to be counterclockwise. It will be counterclockwise when V2 is negative. Okay. It is when V2 is negative that the current will be counterclockwise. Now, when will the diode conduct? No? V2 has to be smaller than minus V of F. And you can easily verify that. You, know? you, can, you can easily verify that your current will only be flowing from left to right when this is smaller than V sub F, than minus V sub F. V2 is smaller than minus V sub F. Or another way is V2 is greater than V sub F. No? And my output, if I do a KVL, if I do a KVL around this loop, okay, my V out is equal to minus V2 minus V sub F. That's just doing a KVL here. And this is what's going to come out. Okay. May mga portions na zero yung output. When does that happen? So dito zero yung output. Dito yung zero yung output. When V when V1, so this is my V1, which is equal to my V2. You know? When V1 is between minus V sub F and plus V sub F. Okay. So these are that's that's this that's this region, you know? Here and here. Ito region na to. Ito yung dini describe ni to. Okay. V one is between is greater than minus V of F, but is less than V of F. So that's this region. Both diodes are going to be equivalent to an open circuit. So these are both open. Kung open yan, floating itong resistor na to, and therefore your output is going to be equal to zero. Any questions? So this is the full wave rectifier constant voltage drop model. Okay. Ngayon, saan magagaling to? No? Saan mang gagaling tong source na to? Where can we get two voltages exactly the same, uh, exactly the same uh, amplitude, exactly the same frequency, exactly the same phase? One very common source of the two voltages is what we call a center tap transformer. Ngayon, hindi pa nyo pinag-aaralan yung transformer, ano? pero I'm sure you've heard of what a transformer is. No? Can you tell me... Uh, can anybody here tell me ano yung ginagawa ng transformer sa bahay? Can I ask uh, um, uh, Team C, what does a transformer in your house do? Or hindi ka gumagamit ng transformer? Anyone? 
Oh, uh, sir. Yes, sir. It converts the input voltage to the uh, it converts the output voltage from the input voltage. So, if you if a certain device needs it converts it can either there's two types it either steps up the voltage or steps down po. Yeah, that's right, ano. So, san san madalas gamitin yon, di ba? Um, let's say bumibili ka ng appliance sa US, di ba? And then uh, ang ang voltage mo is uh, ang voltage na kailangan noon is 110. Tapos ang voltage na binibigay ng Meralco sa atin is 220. Then we need a transformer to convert from 220 to 110, no? So that's what you're saying, Ryan, no? Yung step down, a step down transformer. So a transformer can be a step up transformer, it can be a step down transformer. No? So this is the this is the uh, circuit symbol of a transformer. Okay, so it's just really two windings. You have uh, you have two two windings. No? You call one the primary, and then you call the other the secondary. They're they're just wound, um, and then there's a flux that connects the two windings. And then the, the there's a voltage induced from the secondary. Anyway, you're going to study this the, toward the end of this course. Ano? Um, you're going to study transformers. I think that's the last module of uh, triple E one one two three. So anyway, um, uh, so these are my two windings N one and N two. Okay, and then depending on how I tap my my secondary, you call it now the secondary. I can produce two voltages here, V1 and V2. And if if uh, I have twice as many windings here in the secondary as here in the primary, then V1 will be equal to V2 will be equal to Vn. So that's that's a source of your two diode. This is now called a two diode full wave rectifier. You need a transformer. Okay, so transformers to be discussed later on in the course. What if I don't have a transformer? I can arrange my diode in what we call a full wave bridge rectifier. So this is the arrangement of what we call a full wave bridge rectifier. So let's try to analyze the circuit, assuming my input as usual is a voltage sinusoid. Okay. During the positive half cycle, so during this half cycle, how does my current tend to flow? My current during the positive half cycle will tend to flow this way, no? Since, since this is positive, it will tend to flow this way. Okay, remember that, that your voltage source always makes, always makes current flow from its negative to its positive. That's what the voltage source does, no? or, or makes current flow away from its positive terminal no? if it is acting as a source. Right? So what will happen? No? Pag dating niya rito, may choice siya. No? Pwede siyang pumunta dito sa kaliwa o pwede siyang pumunta sa kanan. Saan siya pupunta? Will it go left or will it, will it go right? No? Can I ask uh, si Joseph? Saan siya pupunta? Kaliwa o kanan? Sir, sa kanan po. Bakit? Kasi forward bias. Yes, no? Um, well, that wasn't the answer I was looking for, but I think you, you, you have the idea, no? Pupunta siya dito sa kanan. Um, Excuse me, no? Uh, I have to take a call. No? Sorry for that.
sorry, no, um, sorry for that. Uh, Pasensya na if uh, there will be some disturbances, no, because I'm expecting uh, something to be delivered here. No? So again, no, um, pagdating dito, pagdating dito nung, nung charges, hindi siya pupunta dito sa kaliwa, no, dahil kontra yon sa arrow, right? Because current cannot flow from uh, cathode to anode. So the current will flow dito sa kanan. Current is going to flow toward the right. Okay, so it's going to go this way. Okay, pagdating dito sa point naman na to, hindi siya pwede pumunta dito sa baba dahil kontra uli dito sa arrow. No, so it's going to flow this way. No? and then it will flow this way. It will flow this way. It will flow this way. Okay, what will happen when it reaches this point? When it reaches this point, it will not go up again. Kasi hindi naman siya pwedeng pumunta sa pinanggalingan niya. No? Um, if it goes up again, then it's going from a, from a lower potential to a higher potential. It will always go in the direction of lower potential. So it's going to go this way. And then finally, it will go back to the negative terminal. So this is going to be the direction of current flow. Does, does everybody see it? Any questions with regard to that? Are you okay with that? Okay, no? if you have any questions, please, please interrupt me anytime. No? So again, during the, positive, during the positive half cycle, what are the diodes that will be conducting? Your diodes that will be conducting will be D, D2 and D4. And if we are using the ideal model, if we're using the ideal model, then D2 and D4 will just be equivalent to short circuits. Okay. Therefore, what will be the value of V out? Pag tinignan nyo yung V out, yung positive ng V out na nakakabit sa positive ng V in, yung negative ng V out na nakakabit sa negative ng V in. In other words, V out will just be equal to V in. That is during the positive half cycle. Okay, what happens now during the negative half cycle? Tignan natin ngayon ditong negative half cycle. Okay. During the negative half cycle, okay, the current now will tend to flow this way. Dahil negative to, no? If this is negative, that means that the upper terminal will be negative with respect to the lower terminal. And therefore, your current will be flowing from the negative to the positive supply. No? It will tend to flow this way. Again, no? what will happen when it reaches here? It's not going to go up because that's against the diode arrow. It's going to go this way. When it reaches here, again, it's not going to go up because that's against the diode arrow, it will go this way. And then it will go up here. Okay, pagdating dito, hindi siya babalik dito, no? Because that is a rising potential. No? That's a rising potential. In other words, this diode is not going to be forward biased. It's going to be reverse biased. Pag rising potential. No? No? Remember that the diode is forward biased only when the potential of the anode is positive with respect to the cathode. So it's going to be going up here. Back now to the positive terminal. So this is the current flow during the negative half cycle. So that is here. No? And if you notice, it is now D3 and D1 that are conducting. So D1 and D3 is equivalent now to a short circuit. Ano yung magiging value ng V out? Pag tin-raise ko, yung positive ng V out nakakabit sa negative ng V in. 
Samantalang yung negative ng V out, nakakabit sa positive ng V in. Okay? So, what does that mean? That means V out is equal to minus V in. Or if I try to do a KVL, if I try to do a KVL using this loop, ito ang makukuha ma ma kong equation. No? If you notice, parang, parang tinwist lang yung ano, no? Kung ito yung input, ito yung output, imbis na magkadiretso sila, ito binaliktad na ganun. No? So it's twisted. It's twisted. And therefore, this is the negative of this. Any questions? Any questions? Everyone okay? Are you still with me? Okay, please give me some feedback. I, know I just want to make sure that you're still with me. Okay, so when during the positive cycle, V out is equal to V in. So kung ito yung V in, ito yung V out. During the negative half cycle, V out is equal to minus V in. So kung ito yung V in, ito yung V out. So notice we have the same waveform as our two diode full wave rectifier. But the advantage now here is I did not need two voltage sources. I only needed one voltage source. Hindi kagaya nung two, two diode full wave na dalawa yung voltage source ko. Okay, I'd like to mention, this is just to mention in passing, that this circuit is also called a polarity converter. This is, it's, a, it's called an absolute, it, it can be called an absolute value circuit or it can act as a polarity converter, a polarity corrector. Okay, kung, for example, kung meron kang gadget, meron kang gadget, no? Na alam mong masisira kung baliktad yung baterya, anong pwede mong gawin? No? Ang pwede mong gawin, kapitan mo ng full wave rectifier yung input. Kasi pag ginawa mo yon, pag baliktad yung baterya, it's going to just convert it to positive. Because when, when your voltage is negative, it converts it to positive. When your voltage is positive, it retains it as positive. Yun ang ginagawa ng full wave rectifier. No? When your voltage is positive, it keeps it positive. When your voltage is negative, it keeps it positive. So that way, Kung meron kang full wave rectifier sa gadget mo, hindi siya masisira pag nabaliktad yung pagkakabit ng baterya. Okay, what if we now consider the full wave bridge rectifier using the constant voltage drop model? No? During the positive cycle, both of my diodes will have a voltage V of F across it from anode to cathode. And therefore, a current will flow, a current will flow only when V of N is greater than two times V of F. Yung current, the daloy lang kapag yung input natin is equal to, is greater than two times V of F. Kasi dalawa ito, no? dalawa itong constant voltage drop. And what is my output? No? My output is going to be V in minus 2 V of F. On the other hand, during the negative cycle, ito ngayon, no? D1 and D3 are the one conducting. No? And my, my current is flowing this way. So you have a voltage drop V of F here and another voltage drop V of F there. No? So when will my current flow? My current will flow when negative V of N no, is greater than 2 V of F or when V of N is less than negative 2 V of F. So this is when my current flows. Okay, so I have now two batteries in series. My output is now negative of V of N plus 2 V of F. And you can you can figure that out if you do a KVL here. If I do a KVL here, okay, I'm going to get 
this of out is equal to uh, minus V of F minus V of N minus V of F. So that's minus V of N minus two V of F. Now, what about when V of N is between negative two V of F and two V of F, then all my diodes are not conducting. They are open circuit. My output is isolated or hanging and my output voltage will be equal to zero. So this is what my output is going to look like. When, when V in is greater than two V of F, my output is V in minus two V of F. So the difference no, between my peak and the peak of my output, there's no difference dito na two V of F. And I'm not going to get conduction until input is two V of F. So dito, dito siya mag umbisa mag conduct when my input is two V of F. So ganun din dito sa negative cycle, no? Ganun din sa negative cycle, except that it applies now to the negative of P in. And then in this particular window, so that's here, when V in is between minus two V of F and two V of F, my output will be equal to zero. Okay, pag tinignan mo to, this is where you see what the disadvantage of your full wave bridge re rectifier is. Kasi yung halfway bridge rectifier natin, okay, the difference between the output and input is only V of F. Because you only have one diode drop. But in my full wave, oh no, sorry, that's not in the half, that's not in the halfway bridge, no. In the two diode, uh, in the two diode full wave, no. The difference between my output and input is only one diode drop. But in my in my four diode full wave, the difference between my output and my input is always two diode drops or two Vs of F. So this is significant, two Vs of F. Pag mali yung input natin. Pero pag malaki naman yung input natin, sabihin natin, nag-rectify ka ng 220 volts, ano ba naman yung 1.4 volts compared to 220 volts? No? It's, it becomes insignificant. Any questions? Any questions? The operation of the Bridge rectifier is clear, I hope. Okay. I'll move now to the next circuit. No? The next circuit is what we call the positive clipper. And this is the circuit of a positive clipper. So I have my input, a series resistor, and then shunted across my output or parallel to my output is a diode in series with a voltage. So this voltage is a real voltage. No? That's not a voltage drop across a diode. No? Itong V of X is a real voltage. No? So I have a diode in series with a voltage. When will diode deconduct? No? When will diode deconduct? So again, we have two ways. We have two ways of determining whether that diode is conducting or not conducting. The first method is replace it with its model while conducting and figure out when the current will be from anode to cathode. That's the first method. The second method is you take it out, get the open circuit voltage across it, and it will, it will be not conducting if that open circuit voltage is less than the, for, than the forward voltage or if it's an ideal diode, it's less than zero. So let's, let's say we use the second method. No? Kasi kanina, kanina nasanay na tayo gumamit ng first method. So let's say we use the second method. So using the second method, we replace the diode with an open circuit. And so you have V of X here. Okay. 
So how do we know that this assumption is correct? No? We know that that assumption is correct if V sub D, that is the open circuit voltage across the terminals, is less than the forward voltage. So this is the correct model if V sub D is less than V sub F. And if this is an ideal diode model no, where V sub F is equal to zero for ideal diode, no, for an ideal diode. Okay, what is V sub D? I can compute for V sub D by doing a KVL around this loop. No? If I try to compute for V sub D, I'm going to get V sub D. Okay. What is that? Is equal to um, V in no? let's say okay if, let's say we're going clockwise you know so V sub D is equal to V in that's a voltage drop plus V sub X which is a uh, sorry this is plus minus minus plus no yeah V in minus V sub X no? V sub D is equal to V in minus V sub X. That's, that's just doing KVL around this loop. No? So when V in minus V sub X is greater than zero, we know that this assumption is wrong and the diode is conducting. When V in minus V sub X is less than zero, then we know that this assumption is correct and the diode is an open circuit. So that's that's how you determine whether the di diode is conducting or not conducting. So kapag mali ito, no, when, when v, v in minus V sub X is greater than zero, so we know that this is wrong. So what is this diode equ equivalent to? This I diode is equivalent to a short. Pag ideal, no? this diode is equivalent to a short. And what will be my output? No? If this is a short, if this is shorted, what will be my output? My output will just be V sub X. Kaya kita nyo rito, this is V sub X. Kapag valid naman to, if this is valid, no? so this case, that is valid, what is my output? So open to, open yan, I don't have any current drop, a current flowing here because the output is open. So there's no voltage drop across my resistor. So my V out is just equal to V in. No? Dahil wala naman nakakabit dito sa V out. And so wala akong current, wala akong voltage drop dito sa resistor. V out will just be equal to V in. So I get this. So what is the effect of this branch? What did this branch do? In effect, that branch made sure that my output will not exceed V sub F. Kaya si tin tinawag na clipper, kinlip niya. No? No? Tinabas niya at V sub X. No? That is why you call it a clipper. So yung input natin is okay. It will follow the, the output is, will follow the input until the input becomes greater than V sub X, at which point it will uh, maintain it at V sub X. So pagdating ng V sub X, basta hindi niya palalampasin ng V sub X. No? Pag bumaba na, okay na uli. Pagdating na ngayon na dito, hindi niya uli palalampasin ng V sub X and, and so forth. So that is your positive clipper. Okay, now when do you use this? You use this if you want to limit the value of V out, no? You don't you don't want V out to exceed a certain value. Then you clip you clip the input at that particular value. Any questions? Any questions? What happens pag ginamitan ko ng constant voltage drop model? Kung kanina ito greater than zero 
and ito less than zero, ang mangyayari ngayon, ito magiging greater than V sub F at dito magiging less than or equal to V sub F. So when will the diode conduct? The diode will conduct when V in is greater than V sub X plus V sub F. That is when the diode will conduct. No? And the diode will not conduct when V in is less than V sub X plus V sub F. When your input is greater than V in plus uh, V sub X plus V sub F, the output will be clipped at that value. Why? No? Because when your diode is conducting, what is your equivalent circuit? No? When conducting, when diode is conducting, what is your equivalent circuit? Meron akong voltage drop dito, V sub F, tapos meron pa akong V sub X. So pag dinig na mo yung V out, this is equal to V sub F plus V sub X. No? So yun yung value na to. And then when it's not conducting, this is open. And so my output is just equal to my input. So ito yun. Sorry. Sorry about that. No? Okay. So the difference between the ideal model and the constant voltage drop model is that, that in the ideal model, it is clipped at V of X. In the constant voltage drop model, it is clipped at V of X plus V of F. Now, what if we use the third model? No? So that I challenge you no, to figure out what will happen if we use the third model, the con constant voltage drop with resistance, with forward resistance. No? Um, but what will happen is it's going to be uh, it's not going to be completely flat. You try to figure that out yourself. If you can clip an input on the positive, you can also clip it in the negative. So what you do, you reverse the voltage and you reverse the diode. So ang gagawin naman nito is it will limit the negative value of your input voltage at the output. Pag yung negative value mo bumaba beyond a certain value, ikiklip na niya at that particular value. And the analysis is the same, no? Uh, again, no. You can use the first method or use the second method. If you use the, if you use the second method, you make this an open circuit. You get the voltage across its terminals, and you figure out when that voltage is going to be uh, less than the forward voltage. If it is less than the forward voltage, you know that that model is correct, and that actually happens in this particular case when V in is greater than equal to minus V Y. Uh, this is the ideal diode model. So anyway, the, the analysis is the same, no? Nagbaliktad lang yung supply at nagbaliktad yung diode. And when you consider the constant voltage drop, the clipping at the negative, nababawasan further ng V sub F. So kung kanina nagkiklip at minus VY, ngayon magkiklip siya at minus VY minus V of F. And this is the last circuit that I want to discuss for today. And this is called your two-way clipper. So this is, this is if I want to clip both the positive and the negative. So this branch clips the positive. Note that during the positive cycle, hindi magkoconduct tong diode na to. This diode will not conduct. And then this branch clips the negative. Again, during the negative cycle, diode one will not conduct. And if you notice, it's also impossible for there to be a circulating current here. Hindi ka magkakaroon ng circulating current dito dahil sa direction ng diode. Your current cannot flow in the clockwise direction here. 
because it will go against both diodes. So this is going to be my output. Ideal diode to. What do you expect kung, ano expectation nyo pag constant voltage drop model? Ito tataas lang to ng V of F, ito bababa lang to ng V of F. No? Sorry. Ito bababa lang to ng V of F. Any questions? Any questions? So those are the only circuits that we will cover in one, two, three for now. No? Yung rectifier, so you have different types of rectifiers, half wave, full wave, bridge. No? Uh, and then yung, yung full wave natin, by the way, meron tayong two diode full wave at bridge full wave. No? And then positive clipper, negative clipper, two way clipper. When, when you study capacitors, there's a new set of diode circuits that come about. Unfortunately, hindi na aabot yung dito sa one, two, three. That's going to be taken up when you when your future courses. Okay. So if there are no questions, I guess uh, that's it for today. So I'm going to end the session when the last person, as usual, uh, logs out. I'll stop the recording now.